morning viewers today's topic is web caches explained with examples so the goal of this topic is satisfy client request without without involving origin server web caches satisfy client request without involving origins original server user sets browser web accesses y cache browsers browser sends all http request to cache cache return object else cache request object from original server then returns object to client in the given example http requested to the proxy server proxy server requested to original server and then given response to the client in the next phase client requested to the proxy server and got the response instead of requesting to the original server so cache x is both client and server server for original requesting client and client to original server cache work for both as a original uh, as a client and a server it uh, acts as server for original requesting client and acts as a uh, client for original server typically cache is installed by asp internet service provider university company residential isp so why we are using web caching it reduces response time for client request it reduces traffic on an institution access link and it uh, internet dense with caches enables poor content providers to effectively develop content so too does peer to peer file sharing is another example assumptions average object size is uh, 1 lakh bits average request rate from institution browser to original server is 15 seconds delay from institution routers to any original server and back to router is 2 seconds so consequences utilization on lan 15% utilization on access length is 100% total delay is equal to internet delay plus access delay plus lan delay 2 plus minutes plus milliseconds so this is possible solution increase bandwidth of access length uh, to up to uh, 10 mbps and consequences utilization, uh, utilization on lan is equal to 15% utilization on access link is equal to 15% so total delay is equal to internet delay plus access delay plus lan delay 2 seconds plus milliseconds plus milliseconds often a costly upgrade so install cache suppose hit rate is 0.4 consequences 40% request will be satisfied almost immediately 60% request satisfied by original server utilization of access link reduced to 60% resulting in negligible delays say 10 milliseconds which is very much negligible total average delay is equal to 0.6 multiplied by delay from original server plus 0.4 uh, multiplied by delay from when satisfied at cache so 0.6 multiplied by 2 plus 0.4 multiplied by milliseconds that is 1.2 seconds that is less than with 10 mbps link and cheaper too so conditional get don't send object of if cache has up to uh, up to date cache version specify date of cache copy in http request if modified since this server response contains no object if cache copy is up to date http 1.030 not modified so cache http request message if modified since date object not modified then http request response message will be 304 not modified and if http request message if modified since date is given then object modified will be uh, given to the client and that is http response message uh, 200 okay with date thank you very much this is all about cache please subscribe our channel for further videos